6, l'Irlande du Nord en maillot vert chez elle n'a pas fait de cadeau aux Suédois. 24e minute de jeu, Brossarton, 1 à 0. Mais ce n'est que le début. La joie de l'Irlandais, et on le comprend, un si petit pays, une si grande équipe. 28e minute de jeu, un dégagement du gardien plate, vous l'avez vu, un relais de, et un beau travail d'Hamilton, le barbu. Et un but au bout, c'est McElroy. Sans doute du genou, peut-être du tibia, en tout cas c'est un but. Et puis Moller, le gardien suédois va encaisser un troisième but, 37e minute. Il est l'œuvre. Cette séquence avec Portugal-Irlande du Nord, match comptant pour le groupe 6. Nous sommes à la 60e minute de la partie. Le Portugal joue en rouge, donc sur la gauche. L'homme au gant noir, Alves, pour son avancement sur Jordao, 1-0 pour le Portugal, ce sera le score final. Au classement, l'Irlande du Nord, l'Écosse et le Portugal se partagent la main. Emerging with the Scottish at that corner flag. As the second half gets underway and Northern Ireland come forward immediately, that's a long try from Jerry Armstrong. Very well beaten by O'Neill, but O'Neill leaning on the shoulders of Gray, according to the East German referee. Free kick already taken. This is McGrain. To Archibald. And that's why Steve Archibald has notched up 24 goals in England this season. Taking the ball inside from McGrain. Magnificent turn onto his left foot. And the shot appeared to be being Pat Jennings and blocked by the post. Once again providing the Lynch pin in midfield. Now McLeish. Patient build up from Scotland. ML2 Archibald. Andy Gray. Well, it was only a snap chance, but the Scottish strike was already showing that they're prepared to have a dig from the edge of the box at any opportunity. Long ball aimed for Wark. That's a great ball to Andy Gray. Now Steve Archibald. And headed off the line. Well, that should have been the first goal to Scotland. Great save on the line by Chris Nichol. The build-up, quite superb. John Wark hitting that long ball from Kenny Burns into the path of Andy Gray. He looked as though he'd have a shot on his own, but squared it to Steve Archibald. He really should have taken it first time. Stumbled, turned on it, and that delay uh, giving Nichol the chance to get back to hit it off the line. Good run, angle run from Gray. Wark in support. So is Burns. Ray's wide on the left, but here's John Wark for Scotland. Well, a deadly finishing. He's got him 32 goals this season, lets him down. But a much better build-up from Scotland. The through ball opening up that Northern Ireland defence, giving Wark the shooting chance he normally relishes. Nelson with that long throw. Back it comes to McCreary. Michael Roy. Nelson playing it in. Hamilton in the box. And that's a great save by Alan Ruff, touching the ball onto the post. Well, that would certainly have been a killer blow for Northern Ireland. A flighty ball from Sammy Nelson. Hamilton under pressure, got his head to it, going in at the top corner. And there's Ruff just touching it onto that post. Gray with a kick for Scotland. Kenny Burns in the box. Leash at the far post. Well, 
a shooting chance for John Wark, but that's what makes Pat Jennings such a great goalkeeper. A great shooting opportunity for John Wark. He hit it very firmly indeed, but Jennings made that look easy. Roy. Billy Hamilton makes it 1 0 to Northern Ireland. Well, that's the bonus that I were looking for on the blow that Scotland were dreading. A perfectly orthodox driven free kick by Sammy Michael Roy. The Scottish barking, thoroughly unsatisfactory. Hamilton's glancing header. And Northern Ireland go in front. He scored more than one goal. Portugal scored three. Ireland scored three against Sweden in every other match. No one, no side has scored more than once. That's how tough it is. That's towards Wark. John Wark equalises for Scotland. The goal he's always been wanting. A crucial goal for Scotland. 13 minutes left. Scotland goal level. It split the Irish defence. Mark coming in at pace. And the driven ball leaving Pat Jennings with no chance at all. Mike Gray walks in the box. Well, John Walk certainly making his presence felt in the Irish box. But Sammy Nelson did very well, marking his run, jumping with him, and giving him no clear header at Pat Jennings' goal. Scottish team now full of urgency. Robertson's corner kick, there's Andy Gray. Now Steve Archibald. Well, I think Archibald thought the whistle had gone. Well, we'll watch the 90 minutes have now come and gone. Throw to Scotland. So as we go into injury time, the long ball forward looking for Archibald. This is what leaving it to Gemmell. Hartford to Archibald and the referee allowing very little additional time. The final whistle goes, Scotland won, Northern Ireland won. The Irish players very happy, and so will that man, John Watt, be happy because his goal, near the end, equalising the earlier goal of Billy Hamilton for Northern Ireland, tying it up a point apiece in Group 6. players gathering in the box and that's a lovely corner O'Neill the crowd screaming for a handball but away come Portugal with Costa Alves in the middle and in the far side Oliveira <laughs> 30 minutes gone in this important match well, Billy Hamilton did not know what was going on, but Costa. Can Pietro reach it? He can. David McCreary coming over to cover. It was Alves. That was a beautiful pass. The shot from Alves. Not particularly known for his shooting. For Hamilton, Armstrong. Here's Jimmy Nicol, Cochrane outside. Chooses the cross. Gabrielle away for.
for Portugal. Nelson. Oh. Well, that was a clear chance for Billy Hamilton. Cochrane has to make it an in-swinger, and a very fierce in-swinger at that. O'Neill, near post. Armstrong! And that was Jerry Armstrong's shots and Pietra's knees that took it off the line. Now this, an out-swinger, surely. For Chris Nicholl. Ben goes out, well out of his goal. Oh, Nicholl! Jimmy Nicholl had a very good chance there if he had kept his head. Nicholl's free kick, up goes Hamilton, he's up there! Just past the post. Jimmy Nicholl. Armstrong nudge, here's Cochran. It's Bento's ball, surely. McAvoy up! And the referee says play on. Oh, Bento not very happy. Carlos Manuel. of the game is on the ball and that beats everyone apart from Oliveira what does he do with it hits the bar and perhaps three minutes wasted there Cochran keeps it in there's a chance on strong yes on strong the score Chasing that ball when other players might well have given up. Keeps it in play. And look at the Northern Ireland players queuing up for the header. Armstrong, who gets it? Nickel, shot from Nickel. Any one of three. Oh! My goodness, what a shot from Jimmy Nickel. Tremendous shot from Nicol. Look at this. McElroy runs over it. The tap back by O'Neill. Beats one player and boom. Bento well beaten. Billy Bingham knows how important this win is. Cochrane. Strong and Bento saves. Two minutes gone of extra time. Jerry Armstrong. And that is it. Windsor Park goes absolutely delirious. Till Peter Nilsson, Peter Nilsson till Janne Svensson oh. och det är straffspark. Hasse Borgs tur den här gången, mot Danmark var det Peter Nilsson som missade. Det svenska fotbollslandslaget har gjort mål igen, det var länge sedan, i en VM-kvalmatch. Hasse Borg.
fyra minuter in i den andra halvleken. Så här gick det till. Man ska ta det här väldigt lugnt måste jag säga. Det är en mycket bra placerad straff. Tar emot eh, inte så allvarligt menade gratulationer från Nordirländarna. Och eh, det blir han varnad för. Ja, det är en dum sak Hasse gör här och får också varning för. Han springer fram till eh, Chris Nicol i det nordirländska laget. Och spelar lite dum helt enkelt. Det är ett dumt tilltag och det är rätt av domarna att sätta fram det gula kortet. Lite onödigt. Oj, 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 oj. Vad är detta? Ja, de har härsknat till på Hasseborg naturligtvis, Nordirländarna. Men det där var ju, det har jag aldrig sett på en fotbollsplan förr. Det var rent slagsmål. Det är väldigt dumt tilltag. Nu får det här i repris igen. Man ser man an, den nordländska spelaren använder ju helt enkelt armarna som vi ser. Koppla begrepp på Hasse som ska ge igen naturligtvis. Terry Cochran. Det var ja, han kallas för omvänt livtag, men det är inte vackert att se. Och det är sällan man ser sånt här på en fotbollsplan. Vi ser hur han sparkar efter på Hasse också som sen lägger sig. Det är otroligt. Tyvärr har ju Hasse en varning tidigare, ja just det. Tyvärr Rött kort, Hasseborg. Det röda kortet här, vilket väl kan te sig lite onödigt naturligtvis. Han blir helt enkelt utvisad. Och det blev förstås brottare Cochran också. Här är näst gällde det Porto. Scott's there, and look at they left a little bit of space there, and Armstrong, if it had fallen for him, he would have been happy there. But it's not away yet, and a great right touch there, and a shot spun up away in the end that was just wide. And suddenly Scott went for it. Robertson coming to this side of the field for Tappy and trying to get it out. Little goal to Scott. And he's brought down by McCurry, and again, he's a very lenient referee. I thought there was a foul there, but the referee allowed it to go, and here's Archibald. Stuff out that's got a shot. Stuart, he'll 
Bird playing a good, sensible, simple ball there to Stratton. Now Sunis playing it forward. Donaghy losing out to Stratton. Is this a chance for Archie Ball? A flick. la case finale. Irlande du Nord, Israël, petite victoire des Irlandais grâce à un but de Johnny Olson. Après l'Angleterre et l'Écosse, Irlande du Nord ira donc en Espagne dans 8 mois. A noter que le pays de Galles peut encore se qualifier aux dépens de la Tchécoslovaquie dans le groupe 3. Et puis n'oublions pas que mathématiquement l'air est toujours dans le coup. Enfin les Irlandais ne se font pas trop d'illusions. Nous sommes bien placés pour le savoir. Il faut attendre France Chip, match télévisé, vous le savez.